Hey guys and welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore episode 2 where in this episode I am not going to die <laughs> Hello there, how are, you, how, how are you doing? How are you doing fella? How are you doing? Ow Okay, yeah, I gotta remember this is in Hardcore um, Once again, I am not very used to this But I would love to go in this cave and get some more iron before we continue and really start this episode the question is, will I be able to do that without dying? Ow. Would you stop it? Could also do with some more co Okay, I'm actually dangerously low. I'm actually dangerously low. I am not used to this. Uh, do I have a bow by any chance? No, I do not. Okay. Well then, anyways, welcome back to, as I said, Hardcore. Hope you are all doing well. Um, today I want to do a bunch of stuff. Uh, one, not die. Two, I want to... Set up a little bit of a farm, mainly just a wheat farm, something for us to to get um, other than only, well, run flesh and fish. That would be very nice to have that. Um, another thing is I want to get a better way to go up and down, uh, both probably here in the mine, one that is secure for me and that pretty much guarantees that mobs won't be able to get down here. Um, so not something that I have to constantly break in place. Um, but also I want to... Oh, what's this? Danger? Yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, 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 I'm gonna leave that for now. Just want this... Oh, Enderman, hello. I, I don't have any issues with you if you don't have any issues with me. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I haven't actually explored these caves very much. Um... And my intention is not to do so. I just want a little bit of, of coal here and some iron and we'll be good to go. But yes, I want to make a way up and down. I want to take a look at some of the nearby mine shafts. Potentially we have some chests. Maybe we can even get some diamonds from them. Who knows? And then I also, just while I'm getting these ores here, I just want to clarify one thing. And that is I got one comment. Uh, I might have gotten multiple by now. But I just got one comment on the first episode saying... So you are not going to be using the data pack with the 1.18 cave generation uh, from Mojang. And let me clarify and say, no, I am not. I am using basically what Mojang provides. So I am strictly using the snapshots. Currently, we're running in 1.17-pre-1. Uh, so we are very close to the full 1.17 release, which is very exciting. Um... But yes, I am not using any data packs whatsoever. I could have used the data pack from Mojang, but I would much rather just follow in the footsteps of how Mojang wanted this game to be. So if they took out, if they take out a feature, or if they add a feature, then it, it it's how Mojang wants it, and that's what I'm going to follow. <laughs> if that made any sense. Also, if I were to add the uh, the data pack. Then what's the end? Then I might as well add other data packs as well. Then I don't really have an excuse. Um, but yes, I don't use data packs at these in, in this series anyway. Um, I strictly follow the Mojang versions and don't add anything else to it. When Mojang feels it's right to add the cave generation and whatnot, it will be added. Anyways, it is now night time and I do not have a bid. Having a bed would be pretty nice at this point in time. So let me quickly empty my inventory here. Grab my wood because I will be needing it today. Um, because I want to make a way up and down. Now that I thought of first would be a ladder. But I'm thinking that probably a stairway is going to be the best course of action here. So I'm going to be needing to do a bunch of uh, mining here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scary, scary, scary. You can't blame me for that, okay? You, you, can't, you can't blame me for getting jump scared at my pickaxe breaking when you're in hardcore. And everything relies on you not dying. So yeah, be, be quiet. <laughs> Um, but yes, I'm going to try and make a little bit of a staircase here. Don't know how well it's going to look, nor be. This is actually not looking that great so far. But I think something like this. Yeah, something like this. I just need some cobblestone stairs. I'll just make as many as I can because I'll get plenty more cobblestone. So something like this. And then... Uh, 
definitely not gonna use the terracotta. Something like this leading up here feels right. Actually, all the way over to here, where... Ah, perfect. It would be perfectly aligned with this right here, going up to there, and then we can go back up like so. I think that is a plan. Did that even make sense? I don't know. You'll see it in action in just a moment. All right, so far so good. Some couple stone there, and I actually need to remove one more layer of this. So far so good, leading all the way up here, so we're pretty much halfway. Now I just need to do a bunch more digging. Hopefully by the time I've done this, it will be daytime and we will be able to go out and explore the world, set up a little farm and explore those mine shafts and get some more fish because I'll probably need more food as well. That's creepy. I just saw something red staring at me and I did worry that the fish didn't It didn't even give me a string. It didn't even give me any string. Why? <laughs> I get jump scared sitting here in my own. Okay, okay, I see how it is, game. I see how it is, Mojang. I see how it is. I see how it is. <laughs> not, not cool. So not cool. Now I'm being attacked again from a skeleton and... Okay, this is... Wait, did, why did he not take any fall damage? Ah, the game is against me. And another one. And another one. Alright, come on. Just, just, just come on. There we go. Alright. Oh, wait. Oh, no. It's raining. Meaning that in the mesa and in the desert, it is not going to be safe because hostile mobs will still be able to spawn. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need to uh, need to get a bit sooner than later so I can sleep through the night. And potentially also the rain. I was not recording that, but a creeper just fell down and instantly exploded, even though I was pretty far away. I... Uh, is this like a sign that I shouldn't be playing this, that I shouldn't be recording this today? Is this like a sign? It just fell down right here and went this. That, 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 that. Okay, this, this is, come on, almost there, almost there. Come on, almost there. Hello? Any other surprises? No? probably gonna get another surprise very soon just watch it's gonna happen eventually i'm surprised as well that it exploded so quickly normally you get a little bit of a chance to like to 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 look raise your shield and whatnot but no not this guy he was just exploding instantly that was not pleasant at all you know what i'm gonna go up here and just check if the coast is clear all right there's one spire you know what I might as well be on the safe side. It's all the way over here, but you know what? Can't be too safe. There we go. Gone. That's one string for the collection. And yes, it is indeed raining, so our mobs will be... I think they will be able to spawn. Might be wrong, but at least they don't burn. So that's an issue in of itself. All right, staircase complete all the way up here. That should be good. I just maybe need some fencing here and here. Maybe put a torch down or two. All right, so uh, actually I'm going to keep the shield up due to that uh, last creeper attack. So that is pretty good. Um, our first, I guess, build for the season. <laughs> Not the prettiest thing ever, but you know what? It will do the trick. So let me clear up my inventory and uh, let's get to potentially do some farming because that is something that I am lacking dearly. It is food. All right, I have 13 bone meal. I have a hoe. Hopefully we should be able to find some dirt and just set all that good stuff up. I also have some torches here, can place those there. Right, so there's a water over here. I don't know if there's any dirt by it. I don't think there is. Of course, there's that dirt up there, which we can indeed use. And we will. All right, time for more digging because I need to clear an area around this. So I think this should actually, I might make a bucket and move the farm closer. I might as well do that, actually. So I'm going to go up here, actually, and I'm going to get a total of 81 dirt, I think, in total. And yes, this counts. Because dirt, it can be transformed into normal dirt. 
81 because yeah, you'll see. Also got to chop down some of these oak trees here just so they're not hanging after I remove this dirt. And also so we can potentially get a apple because that would be an apple. That would be pretty good because that would mean that we can then start making golden apples which could in some cases be of very good and important use. All right, this should be more than enough. In fact, it is more than enough to make a little bit of an area of which we can call a farmland. We actually have uh, water right here, so we could make it around that, but I'm not going to. They've got to make it like over here. This is a nice little flat area that we can make a plot of land. So I'm going to make a hole right here. That's where the water will be. And then one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. And then find that center again one two three four and then just gonna make a square here filled with dirt and water in the middle that should make for a pretty good and hopefully well sustaining farm especially if we can make it into potatoes or carrots then that is going to be even better but we don't have any of those just yet the sun is also going down so that is also an issue that we need to potentially take care of i might stay up Actually, I might stay up and hunt for spiders if I can and it's not too dangerous Because I really do need um, I need both a bow, but I also need a bed and Unless I find some sheep Which we might do a little bit of exploring in the day. So if we do It's a good idea f a, blah, blah, a good <laughs> a good idea for me to have some shears and a bucket ready in that case all right shears and a bucket and it is turning nighttime so i think even though i said i might be hunting for spiders i don't think i want to risk it i'm just gonna stay here afk um well i'm still gonna be here because i need to make sure i don't die and uh, i'll be back when it's daytime because um yeah i could go mining which i might off camera i don't know anyways i'll be back in in daytime guys I just killed a zombie and I just got us a potato. <laughs> I just got a potato. Yes, that is perfect for our farm. I'm, I don't even need to worry about seeds now because the potato is perfect. The potato is better than, than bread. Okay, awesome. That, that was perfect. Anyways, I can show you what I did real quick. I blocked off this wall completely to be completely safe. Um, this right here is just ugly and not symmetrical, so we're going to remove that. And then I installed this right here. It's basically a trap door with a ladder so I can go down and then I can lock it. And if I quickly need to go back home, I can do so and just, oh, there we go. And they can't get back up. It's important this is here, otherwise they can actually climb that. A zombie did it, but hit his head on that. So that's perfect. But anyways, potato, noise. Still nighttime though, so I'm going to keep doing something else until this day. All right, it is now turning daytime. I just got back from a little bit of a mining trip. I lighted up the cave a little bit more and got some iron and gold. And it's clear. Indeed, it is clear. All right, perfect. We can now place down this dirt. So I got to find the sensor first. Uh, yeah, yeah, yep, this. No, nope, that's not it. Hold on. Uh, one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Yep, that's the center right there. All right, perfect. So let me place this down. And now because this is horse dirt, we need to actually right click it twice with the hoe. So turn it into dirt and then we need to, to turn it into tilted dirt. Um, but first I'm going to grab a water bucket. I'm going to smack that in the middle there. So in case I do double click like that, then it doesn't just dry up. And this, it should reach all the way out here. I might be wrong though, but uh, I don't think I am. Now this is going to be a lot of clicking. Is that an enderman? Yes, it is. All right. Doesn't look like it makes... Oh, it does. Okay, perfect. My hole broke, but I'm actually just going to place a crafting table here because it's going to be nice to have... No, wait. It's going to be nice having the crafting table here anyway. Almost done here. And then we can place down the potato. Come on. There we go. Perfect. All right. So we're going to place down the potato and then we're going to take the bone meal and then we're going to grow it just like that. And we're going to get new potatoes and then we can use the bone meal here to get even more just like that love that sound is that new sounds new and boom we now have 22 potatoes and if we get 
even more bones, we will be pretty, well, in a pretty good position, I should say. Look at that. Nice. Our potato farm is starting to grow. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it, well, filled out pretty soon anyway. Anyway, with that done, uh, I do have my shears. I do have my bucket. I am actually going to go ahead and get that there. It, this shield didn't used to be 2D in the hot bar. That's interesting. All right, fishing rod, shears, water bucket, coaster, hoe. Pretty good. I want to check out some of the... Um, now that it's daytime, some of the abandoned mine shafts down here. Like we have this here, we have an entrance over there. I believe a few entrances in here. Plus, I see a lot of fish until our potatoes are ready to be harvested and eaten. Um, salmon it is. So, yeah, sorry, fish, but um, you multiply quick anyway, right? <laughs> All right, anyways, let's see what we got here. So, that leads to nowhere. There's a rail here, there's this here. Sometimes you can just find, like, minecart chest just like here in the open. Um, but we do have an opening there. We also have an opening over there. It sounds like we have something under us. I don't think that actually leads to anywhere either, unfortunately. Let's see. Nope, it doesn't. What about that one? Nope, that's just a cave entrance. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to have a look around. See if we can find some more. Actually, actually, there's two openings. One there and one there. Let's go check those out. Actually, I'm also going to take this sugar cane here. And I'm going to plant it over here near the base. Actually, I'm going to bring it with me. I'm going to bring it with me. That's brighter as well, isn't it? Let me know if I'm discovering new things or if I'm just dumb. <laughs> uh, I might, I'm, it might have been a while. But I'm 99% I'm sure that is more brighter than it, than it used to be. But, um, do correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, that's another thing, actually, I'm gonna get from this, potentially, if there's any cobwebs. I'll be getting string, which is pretty good. Okay, not interested in that. Come on, there gotta be some... One of these gotta lead to a bigger, like, mineshaft entrance. Maybe not? Alright, hopefully this one leads to something more interesting than just a dead end. Nope, I do hear stuff, though. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Uh, well, I'm gonna... I want to look around a little bit anyway in this mesa. Um, firstly, time to hunt some fish. Alright, so unfortunately, there were nothing in these uh, mineshaft entrances other than just dead ends, unfortunately. Uh, a little bit eh about that one, but I do want to then instead uh, go around here just on the surface and explore a little bit to see either A, if we could find another entrance or B, if I could potentially find either a new biome or a sheep because getting more, um, getting wool would definitely be something I need so I can sleep and yeah, string so I can get a bow. That's going to be pretty important. Now, because this is the Mesa biome, I should have an eye out and open for anything that could be a mineshaft entrance because they could be literally anywhere here near the surface, which I think is a very cool feature of the Mesa biome. A bunch of cave entrances, but nothing that screams mineshaft yet anyway. I did just find something else though, literally a second after. It looks like we have a ruined portal over there. This base, by the way, <laughs> it looks to be huge. Very big, where's the sun? It is going down, but I think we can make it over to that uh, abandoned portal, or ruined portal, I should say, and back in time before it gets too dark. We shouldn't need to set up camp anywhere else. So hopefully that will have some pretty cool stuff, and that's gonna be a lot of obsidian actually already uh, from the get-go. I just need a diamond pickaxe in order to harvest it. Oh, and there's a mine shaft and multiple mine shaft areas here. Ooh, this could be good. Oh yeah, look at this. We have that. We have this. That. That. Okay, this is um, this is a lot more promising than before. Even though there might. 
just be dead ends near this. I should really have my shield out, because there could be a creeper literally around any of these corners. Alright, a lot of these are probably going to be nothing, but I do want to search them real quick. I'm not going to take any of the rails, we can do that when we actually need them, which we probably will eventually. Oh, this goes in deep. Hmm. This is getting a little bit uh, scary. Because cave spiders are a thing. Oh, I'm out of torches. Oh no. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's all that problem. Alright, another bad news is that my pickaxe just broke, so I won't be able to take any ores that I potentially find. But we should be good. I'm gonna take every piece of the string because we might not find a sheep. All we need is for it 12, so two more. And we should be good to what well, here we go. To make a bed. Uh which is gonna be pretty good. Now I do have spiders meaning multiple layers of this thing. So that's gonna be both up oh, yep, yeah, here we go. Here we go. I am scared of cave spiders though. Those things can really ruin your day. So I think I'm not going to stick around for too long. <laughs> Especially with night time outside, because then there's nothing I can bail to. Um, that's definitely not a dead end either. Uh, these are very, very tight spaces. Oh, hello. Hey, creeper. Okay. I would love to find like a minecart with a chest in it. That would be pretty cool. Oh, that's another one. Oh, that's another one. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Always. No. Nope. Gotta keep an eye out for my back. Hey, guys, you're gonna come up here? Oh, dear. And you too. Okay. Oh, that's a lot here. Hello. There's also a skeleton on the right. Imagine if we just got a carrot. That would that would be perfect right now. I feel like I'm not in the greatest position. I don't have a pickaxe. I don't... Oh, hi. <laughs> I don't... Oh. Oh. The shield can really be a lifesaver. I don't have a... I got a chest. I don't have a pickaxe is a bit of an issue plus it is nighttime outside okay this is gonna really take a lot of looting and coordination to be looted correctly anyways let's see what we got here actually let me get some of this dirt and block it off like so all right let's see what we got okay we got coal we got a golden apple uh detector rail normal rail beetroot seeds i'll take those out rail, we got bread, and then we got the glow berries. I didn't realize you could find those here. Those are going to be valuable. Also, I'm going to take that. <laughs> nice. All right. Back to this. Um, definitely what I... Oh, this goes even deeper. All right, guys. You know what? We found this. I think I'm going to dedicate another episode to exploring this whole thing. Um... Because there is multiple layers to this. And I do want to go ahead and check out the ruined portal before we end this episode. And we're getting to the end of it, so I think I'm going to go do that. Even though it is not nighttime, but I might be able to make a bed. Oh no, I do not want all this terracotta. I do not want it. Found the exit, or at least a exit. Uh, that's not an exit. Oh no, I heard baby zombie. Oh, I see baby zombie. Okay, if I can just get to a safe place, I can actually make a bed, and that's going to be really, really good. Are there two of them? That's two of them. Oh, no. This is not... Okay. This should be... Ah, this should not be too bad. Yeah. Think it's tough. Think it's tough. Think it's tough. Nope. Okay. Thought so. All right. Let me get to that portal. It should be safe there, even though there's lava. And let's make a bed. Our very first one, that is. All right. Make a quick crafting table. And... Oh, wait. Nope. And do not want to get ambushed. One, two, three. This is actually very dangerous. 
Because a creeper could be sneaking up on me any moment. Also, I do not want phantoms to start showing, so this is perfect. Alright, sleep. Ooh, okay, that's good. This is good. This bit is really good. Alright, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of obsidian and another mine shaft up there, and I do not want to get shot in the back for this. We have multiple gold blocks, which is amazing, and one crying obsidian. How many did I say we had? Four, and then I think, yeah, probably like eight. So we just need two more or so to be able to make the nether portal. But anyways, let's see what we got. Now mind, we have the we have the full portal. We don't even need a and two golden apples. Okay, we do need a diamond pickaxe to rearrange it. But that's pretty good right there. That's pretty good. That's not a bad chest, and I'm gonna take the chest as well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, here is what we're gonna do. We are gonna call this an episode right here. Really hope you have enjoyed. In the next one... Um... I don't know actually. In the next one, uh, we should probably explore these mine shafts and or... We should look, um... In one of the other directions to see if we can find another biome. That could potentially be near us, but we haven't discovered yet. So what of those? Um... And potential, well, hmm, that's a lot of stuff we need to do. Like, we also need to find diamonds for a diamond pickaxe and enchantment table. Oh boy, that's a lot to do. But anyways, guys, I'm potentially going to be doing some off-camera work. I'm going to clean up this inventory, make a new pickaxe, maybe mine a little bit more. Definitely going to use these bones for bone meal, keep expanding the potato farm. And we'll take it from there in the next episode. Uh, should I kill that creeper? You know what? Maybe we'll want the gunpowder for TNT at some point. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he didn't even drop any. <laughs> Alright, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. We didn't die yet, but maybe we will next time. Hopefully not, because <laughs> I don't want to. Anyways, hope you enjoyed, and have a wonderful day. Hope to see you next time, and goodbye. Contalana, where do they see? Zapu, we fluid.